Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Larry Gray, and today I am joined with Kevin Agatone and Chris Heller. And today we're going to uh, provide our first look into uh, People Tools 852. So, uh, so uh, what we'll be doing today is we'll have a, a demo environment that's up and going, um, and we'll we'll only be highlighting a couple of the features from a demo perspective. Um, as you can imagine, you know we're 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 still going through and, and kicking the tires on some of the more advanced features, but uh, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll go through and just show you a lot of the different things that you'll see in the release notes and that sort of thing. So, what I'd like to do is. Um, because this is actually the largest webinar that we have ever given, um, there's a lot of folks that, uh, that, that who are attending today who have not seen uh, any of our webinars before. So, you know, for those who uh, who have joined and have seen kind of our corporate introduction, I uh, hope you'll bear with me as I go through this for some of the some of the newer folks who may not be as familiar with who Grace Barling is. So, um, in terms of who we are, so we're uh, we're coming up, believe it or not, on our um, seventh year as a company, so we were founded in April of 2005, um, and, um, and, the, and the three of us who are on the phone actually all worked in the People Tools group. So, uh, so Chris actually was in charge of the People Tools product strategy organization. Um, I was a development manager in the People Tools group, um, also did field work, so I was uh, one of the first consultants at PeopleSoft as well as um, helped build the consulting practice in the southeast region. And, um, and Kevin uh, was actually a developer both on the People Tools side as well as on the Oracle Fusion side. So um, he has a lot of very interesting things that, uh, that that he's seen in terms of you know what's going on for Fusion and that sort of thing. Um, in terms of our relationship with Oracle, um, you know we we still maintain those close ties that we have. So uh, you know so uh, so we you know, we do a lot of disclosure with. Uh, uh, Jeff Robbins and Paco Aberwan and you know, all the folks that we used to work with as well back there, and we're one of the three uh, one of three vendors who are actually invited back again this year to be part of the customer advisory board coming up in in February. Uh, for those who are not familiar with our blog, uh, we do have a blog that has uh, I think close to three hundred uh, tips and techniques and entries and that sort of thing. Um, one of the things that we'll be doing is we'll be taking this webinar and we'll be uh, putting it up on our YouTube channel and then putting a blog entry out there with links to be able to, to take a look at this. So if you want to share this with other people in your organization, you'll be able to do that. Um, and so just in terms of how many people attend these webinars, um, you know, we have lots and lots of folks. We're actually going to be uh, uh, doing lots of sessions at the coming up Collaborate Conference as well as the Alliance Conference coming up in March and April. Um, and so you'll see a lot of us there if you actually make it to, you know, if, you, if you can make it to those uh, conferences. Just a quick list, a uh, quick view into some of our customers. So we have, uh, you know, we're coming up uh, around 100 customers right now. So, uh, so we've got lots of uh, very big names who are in there. Uh, so, uh, and then finally, you know, one of the things that I wanted to highlight is that um, we are a, uh, a software development shop. So we basically have taken all of the things that we know about people tools and people soft, and we provide, you know, we deliver products that address different needs, whether it's security, whether it's uh, uh, version control and change management, um, you know, whether it's uh, something on the reporting side. You know, we do have solutions that help in the areas of, let's say, self-service or uh, that sort of thing. And probably the one that's most uh, most interesting to us is uh, is the mobile solution. In fact, we've been uh, uh, we there's been a lot of interest in this solution. Uh, we have uh, three three customers right now who are actually I'm sorry four customers right now who are in beta of this product. Uh, we're coming down the last mile in terms of getting this product out uh, out on the market. And um, and so uh, uh, pretty excited about about that. So in fact, we just uh, did a, did an install to one of our beta customers with an update uh, this morning, and uh, the feedback that we had was very positive. Okay, so let's go through and talk a little bit about the agenda. So uh, we already went through the introduction, 
But uh, let's talk a little bit about some of the features that are in People Tools 852. And this is all pretty much brought out, uh, pulled out of the um, pulled out of the uh, the uh, release notes that uh, that Oracle provides. So and that is uh, actually this document right here. So you know, basically, it has all the different features listed, um, all the changes, that sort of thing. So, uh, so anyway, so we've uh, so we we have a lot of these listed, uh, but as I had mentioned, we're gonna uh, we're gonna focus on a few different areas and uh, and not really um, and not get into all the details of all of these things. Um, what we will do is sort of have some follow up webinars where we'll drill a little bit deeper into some of the features. So the first thing that I wanted to show, and again, I stole this uh, image directly from the uh, release notes. Um, but one of the changes, and, and you know, when we opened it up and took a look at those changes, we kind of we were like, oh, well, what's what's kind of the goal for for doing you know for for doing you know, making the changes and where things are installed and that sort of thing. And this diagram pretty much explains it pretty well. And so the idea here is, um, you know, that Oracle wants to be able to have kind of a centralized place where um, all of your PeopleSoft objects, you know, PeopleTools objects are actually stored, and they can be shared across multiple different environments, your HR environment, financial environment. And so the idea is you split outside of that the things that are specific to a given environment, such as the app server configuration, uh, you know, the uh, you know one of the uh, newest things is they actually added uh, the web server startup and shutdown, um, and uh, all the web server configuration is all now moved outside of the standard PS home, and it's actually moved to uh, a new location in uh, in the PeopleSoft servers. So. Uh, and so that's something that uh, just to, to, to keep in mind is that um, I think this is going to be one of the last changes that they'll do in this area. But uh, for us, we've actually, because our products have automated installers that install in all of these areas, you know, they'll install in the web server, you know, we actually go through and have logic that figures out, all right, where are the web, web server files and how do we make sure that we know what we're, that we're looking at the right release and that sort of thing. And so... Um, Again, you know that's going to be something where we're going to have to put an update out because they've changed where those things are located. And obviously, from your perspective, as you deploy this, it's something that you want to keep in mind because as you have your scripts to start up and stop that, you know, and bring down and you know, basically do this through PS Admin and all that sort of thing, there is a little bit of impact on that. So, why don't I go in and I'll actually show you, uh, you know, jump into my environment here. And we'll actually take a quick look at this. So let me actually switch this so this zooms in a little bit better. Let's see, where are you? There you are. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is uh, let's. Uh, so here is the uh, so here is the PS admin. Um, so let's actually go all the way out so you can actually see it. So in terms of PS admin, uh, you'll notice that the PS admin um, that can go in. You'll notice that the configuration actually exists, and I just kind of reload. We ran, we used all the defaults to install this in this environment, but you'll see that it's going to see users, administrator, PSFT, PT, eight five two. And you'll notice that in addition to having app server, you see process scheduler server, search server, so you can actually administer the search search server from here, um, uh, which is uh, important for the uh, for for the searching functionality that's new in People Tools 852. We're hoping to do a little demo of that, but um, but we we didn't have time to get everything ready, so uh, so that'll come up on a following webinar. And then uh, the other one is the uh, the web server. So if I actually go in here and take a look at the web server, just like you can do with app servers, I can administer my domain. Here's my domain. And then you know, let's say I want to get the status of it, see what's going on. So again, all of this stuff is uh, shows that it started. So again, I can administer all of this through, um, you know, through PS Admin, kind of go from there. So. Uh, 
So anyway, so let's go in and um, just take a look at where these things actually reside. So hey, hey Larry, take a look. Um, yeah, that's Kevin. Um, we we actually have a statement here in the in the questions that uh, folks aren't seeing things. Um, if anybody uh, is having a problem, could you um, could you send you a probably raise in? your hand, or you could actually click on raise your hand if you. Uh, um, there's a little raise your hand button that you can do as well. So, uh, so it looks like we've only got, uh, unfortunately, we've got only got one person who, or fortunately, okay. depending on who you are, we have one person who has that issue. Okay. So, okay. So anyway, so so, so here's the standard PS Home um, that, that's there. So I can. You know, go through and and you know we'll take a look at this. And this is one of the first things that I actually saw when I pulled this open. Is that you'll notice that there is no web serve directory like there was before, um, you know, and, and that sort of thing. So that's where um, we go back to my C, go all the way down to users, and administrator. PSFT is where we put this. You'll notice that if you you know, taking a look at 850 or 851, you know, there was the app server in here. Um, now there's a few other things that have been added. So all the web server pieces, so here's my domain that I've created. All the web server pieces actually exist right here. And this structure is actually the same structure that you would have seen before. So for example, if I want to go into applications, people saw there's the portal.war. Uh, I want to go to webinf, you can see the web.xml there, go in and take a look at the classes that have been installed, all of that sort of thing. So again, just the idea is I wanted to show you that as part of you know one of the things that you'll see um, when you go through and do this. So let's uh, let's move on. Um, and uh, what I wanted to do is switch over.